minimizing charisma, maximizing intelligence, shooting someone in the crotch with a cannonball, thrust, propulsion, it's sciency. <laughs> Why you always gotta be blowing my spot up like that? There are my runes. There they are. I'm not mad. Science needs art and art needs science. They both need each other to function properly. There are ways to figure out what the paper is really saying. And then I'm ready to get on Twitter and yell at people about doing their own research on the oh! Oh, Hold on there, sports fan. Kyle Hill, everybody, is the next generation of science communicator. I'm going to be too old at a certain point to do those terrible things to my body, and it'll be up to you. He's got like a lion. This guy's amazing. <laughs> Kyle Hill. I'm Boo Rambo. The universe is indifferent to you. Whether or not you have amazing hair, the universe doesn't care. How are trees pushing past this pressure limit? Ah! Behold, my balls. Ah! Now we're getting somewhere, but I still don't think it's worthy of G.R.R. Martin suspender. I'm totally right, right? Oops up photos of my my frickin' hair? Is that what you all want? No, you don't, weirdos. Kyle Hill. Is your last name actually Hemsworth? What's going on? Our, our resident Thor lookalike. I prefer uh, Black Friday Chris Hemsworth. Oh, thank you. Hey, you know, if you need a haircut. No, of course not. We're not gonna send sharks with frickin' laser beams on their heads to an asteroid. We're gonna nuke it. You don't need Bruce Willis at all. <laughs> Wrenched. Chat. I'm just making sure. I'm just, I'm just making sure. It's part of the new meta. Chat, can you hear the music at all? Chat, be careful. If, if you were to see my noop noops, I'd be banned immediately. No music? I can hear my music. I mean, it doesn't super duper matter. You can't hear the music. Boo. Completely silent. Chat, welcome to a scientist place. The only place on the internet where you can get Science and gaming, all in one place. What's that black thing between your face and the monitors? Oh, I'm just making sure that, um, you see? You see, I just, I don't wanna, don't want anything to happen to me. C137, welcome. Chad, I'm having technical difficulties, apparently. Hope everyone is having a good day so far. We had a fantastic previous Fallout 4 stream, so we're back playing the full game with you and yours, and yours truly. Happy to have everyone here. As you can see, I got grayer since last time. Congrats, congratulations on the MTG wins as Adventures in the Dark. If you want to watch yours truly stomp a couple of scientists with the professor at Tolarian Community College, Match the Gathering content, go to Tolarian Community College. Check out that video. Welcome to my phone screen. Chat, it's annoying me that you can't hear the music. Now, I think it's something to do with the bit rate, but I can't change the bit rate right now while I'm streaming. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear everything that we do in the wasteland, or else we'll figure it out. Chat, join me in the facility, won't you? Welcome. Happy to have you here. Happy to have a bunch of reggy regs here. 
Angel Fuji, Zerberus, Daniel Benton, Chompy Chomp, locking it down as usual. New members, Kinetheus, Leo Conway, Ventures in the Dark, Kurze, Joe Well, Hillian, Captain, who made today's thumbnail, Elizabeth Clapp, Randy, the Macho Man, Savage. I hear it smells great. Alexander Kotman, welcome. Steve the Beave, Beaver that is. Chad, welcome. Hello, fellow wanderers. Today, um, we are continuing. Oh, jeez. We are continuing our Fallout 4 stream. When, you, when we last left off, um, what were we doing? We uh, got into Skinny Malone's vault, who's holding our detective boy, Nick Valentine, hostage. We're on a mission to do all of the main story quests in this game. Um... Last time, we had a record number of 43 science times. I bet today will be no different. This is honestly a perfect game for me to stream for all of you, being a, a new enthusiast myself. Um, so I'm going to leave the science time counter this time. At, we're not going to start back at zero. We'll start back at 43. And let's see how high we can get over the course of the series. I want hundreds. Is this still completely si silent? Because I'm hearing the music the entire time. TJ York, welcome back. Still completely silent. <laughs> Perfect. Love it. No music at all. Just me. Amazing. Properties. It's right there. I'm hearing it. And... Advanced audio properties. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Chat, can you hear the music now? Chat, can you hear? Was that the music? Chat, was that the music? All right, all right, one second. One second. One second. One second. You can hear the music now? Okay, just just a second. Just a second. Just just a second. Welcome. Welcome to the first introduction of this stream. Welcome to the facility. Welcome to the facility command center. Happy to have everybody here today. We are playing Fallout 4. We are continuing. Why does this version of me look handsome, handsomer than me? Dagon. You can't make thumbnails look better than I look. Yeah, 
I pump it up just a little bit? Chat, welcome back. Uh, we're about, we're gonna continue our Fall 4 stream. Save Nick Valentino. Of course, we all do that here in the gaming center of the facility behind me, two 75 inch monitors. See what you're saying, what we're playing. Obviously, we're playing that hunk up there. We're playing on a PS6 in the background. Don't ask for it, you can't get it. Watching my videos on repeat, of course, if you're gonna be your own worst critic, go ahead and be it. <laughs> That's not how that phrase goes. In front of me, two 27 inch monitors, curved OLED, both showing separate images because I can separate my eye muscle movements much like a Jackson's chameleon. And that's how I get my tongue on bugs. So that's what we'll be doing today. 43 science times. Do irradiated things smell differently than normal things? Um. No. I don't know if you can smell. So you can't smell photons. So there's different science time. There's a, there's a couple, there's different kinds of, oh, sorry, Rainbow Dash is saying, thank you with the two, saying your accent is wrong, have some money. Sorry, Rainbow. Um, sorry, there's two kinds of radioactive emissions. One is photons of light. And you're familiar with photons of light. It's sunlight, it's a visible light that you're seeing coming out of your depression generator right now. That's me. UVA, UVB, radio, microwave, gamma, X-ray. When we're talking about radiation, you're usually concerned with something like X-rays because it's and gamma rays because it's very penetrative. And that's what comes out of like cesium-137. There's also particles. Now, particles um, could be alpha particles, which is basically just like a helium nucleus. You could have beta particles, which are electrons. But can your nose pick up helium and electrons? Could your nose be sensitive to radioactive emissions? I don't know. I'm going to lean towards no. But maybe dogs could. You can't see the science time counter, by the way. I know we're not in the game yet. Um... Excellent as always. I'm sticking with a 9.69 out of 10. Oh, chat, we got to get back into it. We streamed for a couple hours today. I said, I'm promising you hours of science facts, and that's indeed what I'm going to give you. Welcome to a Scientist Plays Fallout 4 Part D. Let's do it, chat. Of course, what we are trying to maximize are those sci those those tiempos de ciencia up there. I'll be your pit boy pipping around in Pip Town down here. Okay. Um it's uh drink. Okay, Conithius, you're a new you're you're a new channel member. You say you're also Australian. Let me know right now. Give me a give me a writing. Give me a writing like X out of ten. I want to know. I'm your personal pit boy. Yes. And as your personal pip, I'm here. Well, I've already kicked ass and chewed bubble gum, so the only thing to do is to science. The only thing to do is to do science. 9.5 out of 10, suck it! Everyone who doubted me. <laughs> Kyle looks like Epic Lloyd from Epic Rap Battles of History, or do they look like me? I'm also not an Australian, I'm just an Australian uh, fan. Chat, uh, we're having some, the number, the numbies have returned to the facility. So if you're looking uh, to catch up on some sciencey stuff, some nuclear conspiracy there, three, three, four. go back to the main channel, check out that video. We have, I think, one more main video before the end of the year, and it's a follow-up to our scam, our science scammer videos. Um, as you may know, that went viral. 
and it got a lot of attention because I was calling out all these science scam and spam channels. Since that time, a lot has happened to yours truly, and we're even connecting with a company who has made some headway in that space and has started, well, you'll see. Um, so since last time we played, science man on the TV, white claw in hand, today's a good day, says Alexander. Ho oh, ho, you're getting ahead of me, buddy. Uh, since last we played, I moved all the stuff that I usually do to one location. I lit this place up. I uh, cleaned up the entire town. I added some lights. I got Piper, and I made her look like she's piping hot. Whew, those leathers. Uh, I put my food there. I put my dog meat house there. Everything is in one location. I got... Uh, we're doing that. I cleaned up all this... Uh, and that, so we're good. We're G to G. You're tied to this place, kid. Scientific Aren't drama you? bait, says Amber Rasek. It's not, it's not bait. You know I'm a master of that, Amber, but it is not bait. Um, okay, fine, fine, Amber. You know what? I'll give you a little, I'll give you a little taste, Amby. Huh? Since you're, you're a doubter. Um, we found a channel that had, that stole footage from me. And I think in if they don't respond in the next three days, their entire channel is going to be deleted. If you wanted me to spoil everything for you, Ambie. I always wonder why there's several workshops close to each other in the beginning area. I think you, I think you answered, I think you answered uh, your own. This is vanilla. I'm playing all, I have all the DLC activated, but I'm not playing with any mods. I can't stand Fallout 4 without XDI. I don't even know what that is. Wouldn't the new stream me mean a new science time count, Seth Methanary? Um, well, we did so many last time, and this is a continuous series to do like the full game. I, th I think we want to see how many we can get. We've never done that before. Are you doing the DLC? I can. It's not Riddle. But who knows? Uh, I'm playing this off of an external hard drive chat, so the load times are even going to be, I think, worse than usual. That's fine. Uh, also, let me know if, if the stream is not anything less than super creamy. <laughs> okay, that, that wasn't me. That was the game. Nice and nice and uh, creamy, streamy. Let me know. I think I'm playing on ultra right now. I can bump that down. All right, Cerberus. If you want me to keep track, I will. We started at 43 today. The load times in this game have always been long, Chad. So whenever, whenever we come to one, give me some science questions. The stream is only cream, says the prophet of truth. That's true. It has to load the whole world. Chad, one of the, uh, one of the uh, science time, one of the ways to get around, you know, the massive amount of energy, uh, massive amount of computing pow power it would take to produce the simulation theory is to consider the fact that you don't have to load the whole world. I mean, if they're just simulating your consciousness what, your and, you, and nothing exists and you don't exist, then they only have to load what's in front of you. The machine, the computer, the simulation wouldn't have to load anything on other side of the world, anything that couldn't be causally connected to you. And so that drastically cuts down on computing power. Does what's happening to someone on a on a scooter in India really affect your simulation right now? Probably not. I mean, technically, yes, but probably not. You know what I mean? Triggered. Triggered. <laughs> this is not a safe space for you, triggered man. You should learn that you should learn even controversial ideas in college. That's what college is about. 
I want that submachine gun, that gunny. Oh, I have that nice uh, hunting rifle. Why do cats sometimes bite when you're petting them? Says Liz, Liz Calvert. I don't know. They get, they get, uh, sometimes you don't like certain places you touch. I have 170 plus mods on my game. I, I can't do all that. But then you're simulating 8 billion consciousnesses. So that puts you, the computing power back up. Not necessarily. Um, when we look at other people, we have a theory of mind. We've evolved to have a theory of mind for other primates such as us. And so we can, we can empathize, we can imagine what it's like to be them, and we can imagine what they are thinking, what their intentions are, what they might do, what they might be feeling. And this evolved to help us interact socially, right? If someone is given fruit and some other member of the group is not given a sweet, sweet banana, you might have an idea that that might affect the social cohesion of the group and therefore the evolution of the group, the evolution of the species, um, the viability of the species going forward if it is a social one. And so we have an idea of what other people are thinking and doing. But how many people do you actually interact with on a daily basis? And how deep are those interactions? Could they be simply simul- could, it, could every stranger's interaction with you be simulated by a chat GPT? I would say yes. And so you do, uh, in that way, I don't think you need massive computing power. You don't need to simulate 7 billion consciousnesses um, if you're just trying to simulate your, someone's trying to simulate your reality, a la the simulation argument. You know what I mean? So many science times, says Jed Kerman. All right, fine. People are going to get confused. Here we go. People are going to get confused. So let's do it right. There we go. Let's do it right. That is a mine. Let's see if we can disarm it. Dumb. That sounds like the beginning of an insult. Your personality could be emulated by ChatGPT, says Brenbury. Well, yeah. Have you talked to most people? Bad shot. Hey, out there. Triggered. Oh, they said something to me that was a microaggression. Uh. Oh, they made me read Catcher in the Rye. Oh, I hate that book. Uh. gonna have my guts for marinara sauce? Where are you shooting from, bro? Hey, how you doing? Here, I'll try to trigger you real quick before you shoot me. Um, anyone should be allowed to speak at college graduations. But I don't like their cons their conservative. Oh. Keeve son with the 599 euros. Appreciate it. Coming straight out of the Texas Metro. Texas Metro. What? I meant to say Paris, because one of you said that. Take your watch. Not on my watch, because it's my watch now. Glorpanized. Ooh, I like that term. That's fun. You've been glorperated. Welcome to my new company, Science Incorporated. <laughs> Joe, it's not like I'm Joe. I'm not. I'm not gonna do a bunch of mods right now. We're just. We're gonna play. Let's just play. How about this? Let's play. Wait, is that 10 millimeters? I don't want to waste all my 10 meter. That's 45. All right. 
Glorpinize me, Captain. Oh, chat, speaking of glorping, um, speaking of glorping, the next, um, the next DLC for Atomic Heart comes out in February. And so we will be certainly glorping it up in Glorp Town very soon. Oops. Wouldn't the Triggermen be doing the trigger me? The triggering? No, they get triggered. Kyle, how safe would it be in a metro during nuclear attacks? Says Jeb Kerman. Um, so, during a nuclear attack, if you're not near, if you're not within the radius of the fireball, you're not going to get vaporized. Um, the maximum amount of damage that you get to people and structures is with an airburst nuclear detonation, something a couple thousand feet off the ground. Some of you might get ads in a couple seconds. Don't worry about it. Um, but a couple thousand feet off the ground, a couple hundred feet off the ground, like in Hiroshima, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Um, and so in that way, there's not as much of a crater produced. And the fallout from that dissipates within the first few days to the first few weeks. So if you are substantially underground in a hardened structure um, with a lot of concrete, um, I think you'd be relatively fine because the halving distance, science time, the halving distance of concrete is pretty small. The halving distance is the distance, the width of a material that you need to have the amount of incoming radiation. You can kind of think of it like a half-life. Um, I know it's one of the worst weapons in the game. I'm using my ammunition. Thank you. A lot of expert follow players in the chat. But the fall, uh, the halving distance for concrete is pretty small, so you only need a few inches of it, uh, a few centimeters of it to have radiation. So being inside a big hardened structure like this would be good. Chat, I know this is a bad gun. I'm just using it because I have it. Because I have 200 weapiones. Airburst Sarbamba, how dead is everybody? Depends on where they are. Does gamma radiation really pass through almost anything? Yes. Um, there's only... There's only two things that I know of that are more... Well, two other particles that are more penetrative than that. And that would be neutrons go further through stuff because they're neutral. They have no charge, and so they aren't deflected or otherwise stopped by charged matter or matter with charge. Um, and neutrinos ghostly particles that fly out from the sun and other um, other cosmic phenomena. And, and the factoid about neutrinos is that they can pass through a light year's worth of lead before interacting with anything. That's how little neutrinos interact. That's why when we build neutrino detectors, they're way underground with all of these, uh, they're way underground surrounded by a bunch of ice or concrete or whatever. Oh yeah, that gun's so bad. Um, ice or concrete or whatever. And it's just to put a bunch of material in front of the neutrinos to hopefully get them to interact with something. That's why. The only thing I know that's more penetrative is Kyle's gaze. Sup, girl. Sup, girl. Having distances in mind design is your own... Have, uh, save your ammo for the explosive variant, you floof! Just let me cook, will ya? Chat, this isn't a competitive game. Look, what we're trying to maximize isn't super gameplay, it's that. The science times. If you pick up the weapons from dead corpses, you get more ammo. Is that true? You sure about that? If that's true, I never knew that. Let's see. I have... <laughs> 285. Oh, you're so smart, chat. I've been playing this game for a long... I've been... I've played this game for hundreds of hours, chat. 285, 300, 3... 360, chat, you're so sexy. 
<laughs> the man did. <laughs> I saw you retract that message, buddy. You didn't believe me in. You didn't believe me either. Believe them either. Hello? That you, Skinny? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, this gun sucks. Why didn't you guys tell me? Come over here. Just just come this way. Just just come this way. <laughs> oh, my bad. I have over a thousand hours in fall, Fallout, and I didn't know that. That's just... That's just something you can learn from chat. You learn everything that you're doing right or wrong, and then you can learn sweet, sweet whatever I said. Mahogany baseball bat. My name is Mududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududud
Why does salt and vinegar work to kill worms? Um, I don't want you to quote me on any of this. So don't. Um, salt, I would imagine because it's, so I'm not, this isn't even gonna be a science time chat. I think it's because they, it absorbs into their skin and the amount of sodium messes up their system. I don't know. I, I don't know, Tiny Human. Alex, your mom showed me some photos. I hope you're having a great end of your year, buddy. Your hair looks amazing, by the way. Just want to let you know that. I mean, I could use my mouse. Oh, it's not connected. Never mind. But, chat, I, uh, until I started streaming, I had never played a game on PC before. I mean, I, yeah, I played like StarCraft and Diablo and stuff like that, but no like modern games. So I'm a, I'm, I've always been a controller man, a controller man, if you will. There was a guy down, I knew there was a guy down here. Oh wait, never mind. Kyle, use a mouse, please. You're not my father. Da, 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 da. Now I can drop some of this crap. Actually, did I already? No, I'm gonna drop that. Cause I don't need that anymore. Wanted it to be dead. Drop eight of them. This. Yeah, no, no. Oh, God. Kyle, you must play as chat demands. No. I'm falling into the Fallout stream, says Nathaniel. I well, uh, I get in here, baby. Epic Bagel says I'm the sexiest YouTuber on the planet. Chad, is that true? I'm probably the smartest streamer. Because I, you know, I take a look around. I mean, there's a lot of... There's a lot of, like, speedrunners who have, like, PhDs and stuff. Doesn't Carl... Carl Sagan have a PhD? How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? How you doing in there? Keep talking, meathead. Markiplier is your competition for the sexiest. Says Phoenix. I don't... I'm not... I, I'm not a big... Uh, I'm not a big Markiplier sexy fan. Like, I'm, I'm willing to acknowledge sexiness, chat. I just, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Then he struck the name across oh. three times. Hey. Hey there, Dino. Meet old rely. Oh, that does nothing. Hey, you got a lot of health, huh? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, don't, don't shoot that way. Thanks. Oh, okay. Oh, do I have the password already? Oh, I do. Huh. You look like a science lion, says Coat. Yeah, I'll take it, baby. Get in here. Door open. I did. I, I, oh. You got Markiplier does have a great voice. I'll give you that, I'll give that to him. To hack that terminal to open up this door. You gotta hack that terminal, kid, to open up this door. Ah, uh -huh, my knight in shining armor. What hits harder, the wood of the bat or the butt of the gun? Risk life and limb. An old Chad, when you're talking about smacking someone in the face with something, what makes something hurt or not? Um, wood or metal, and why? Well, metal, right? And metal, because it will deform less because it's harder and stronger than wood. And if it deforms less, that means less and en more energy is going into reacting against your face. Right? If something so think think of the difference between a concrete pillow and a normal pillow. What deforms more and absorbs more energy that's not going into your face? Depends on density. Well, density is part of it, but not all, not the entire thing. 
Um, materials is complicated. What if the bat was actually a mercury bat? Um, science time. Mercury is, oh, how big is this? Mercury has a density of 14.3 grams per cubic centimeter. So this would be heavy as hell for sure. Um, I'd have to know the exact volume, but it's 14.3 grams per cubic centimeter. I know that because I have a vial of mercury at my desk here. Moist Critical is the Jesus of gaming and Kyle is Thor. Moist Critical's got a good voice. He's very funny. I don't not like him. I don't watch him, but. Majestic Science Lion, roar your wisdom, says Cody Weber. Is that one of those sentences that has all the letters in them? Nick. You gonna talk? Why'd you risk everything to find me? Oh, wait, he's gonna light up a cigarette and it's gonna look cool. Just a second. Isn't that cool? My son, Sean, is missing. Don't mind the fact that I look like a psychopath, kidnapped. right? But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, well you came the right to the right man. man. Not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny, Skinny Malone's, Malone's new flame. flame. Right. Anyway, you hey, Post Malone's now kind of Skinny Malone, huh? Now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Hustled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. The VA sounds like Zachary Quinto? No, it doesn't. Liz. Have I been to the root cellar and sanctuary yet? No. Hold up. I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? Your own job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so Could a nuclear long? weapon be manufactured to release radiation in a similar way as seen as fallout? Um, Daniel, you don't need the... F it, it's not the radiation, really, that, um that creates the, the wasteland. It's the fact that there's so many nuclear weapons um, going off in so many major cities that civilization crumbles. Um, but could you uh, make weapons in such a way that it did contaminate the earth for centuries on purpose? Well, yeah, yeah, you could. Hey, Dino, quit, Raz. That detective there's got a lot of Riz. I know. Trust, trust me. I know. Hey, if anyone knows Riz, it's me. Where the heck is he? I want to blow up a bottle cap in their face. I'm gonna s eat a mutt. Right there. Okay. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Here, now come over here. Come over here. Just over here. Right over here. Just right over here. Just, oh, they're not going to do it. Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, not my crotch, please. Uh, you're shooting the chair. Oh, not my crotch, please. What do you have against that chair? A failed nuclear bomb could turn into a dirty bomb, right? Uh, yeah, but it's not, it's dangerous in a different way. Um, dirty bomb would be a conventional explosion that that science time a dirty bomb is a conventional bomb that disperses nuclear material over a large area dangerous nuclear material over a large area um what a nu a nuclear bomb doesn't do doesn't prioritize that but it does obviously include a nuclear explosion 
and that is far more dangerous. Uh, I, I would. No way to pick this. A nuclear explosion in a city center would be far more Doors devastating. Let me see if I can get it open. I got the bobblehead, Chad. Oh, Chad, I got floof. I got there it. We are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Thank you for that, Liz. I'll make sure to check for that. Kyle, could you manufacture a small nuclear bomb so that it could be an anti-personnel weapon? Um, yeah, Epic Bagels, that is actually, the Fat Man and the mini nukes in this game are based off of the Davy Crockett tactical nuclear weapon, which was only fired a couple of times or once. Um, there's even test footage of it, and it would be a tactical nuke in that it's low yield and meant to just um, do exactly what you're saying, basically be an anti-personnel weapon and not an anti-civilization weapon. Um, yeah, but the mini nukes in this game are based on the Davy Crockett. If you want to look up more, um, that's a fancy patella there. It would be a shame if it got blown out your butt. Oh, you blew my patella straight out of my butt. I told you. Ooh, noodle cup. Nick, go murder him. There we go. Oh, my crotch! The fact that this gun doesn't automatically reload when you have zero bullets is infuriating to me. Oh. Always aim for the ween. That's where there are internal organs on the outside. Oh! Metal Gear. Davy Crockett is also referenced in Metal Gear. Oh, Lale Lule Low. Patriots. Hmm, tastes good. After World War II, the world was split into two. East and West. It was the beginning of a Cold War. No, Chompy, I'm not doing an ice cream so good. I'm doing a David Hayter reference. Damn it, Chompy. The internet has ruined your brain. But you knew that already. Ooh, who wants to get loaded? Mmm, ice cream so good. Ice cream's so good. You make me feel like a cowgirl. Ice cream's so good. Mm, mm, I'm, I'm... Triggered! Hey! Hey! Ah, my body! I said I'm sorry! Hey. Mmm, mm, ice cream's so good. Uh, ice cream's so good. Mmm, ice cream's so good. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Ice cream's so good. Which is more powerful or dangerous, deuterium or tritium, or is it the helium? This is Katie Blade. I don't know what you're referring to, Katie. Um, you can really tell he's using a controller right now, says Floof. How about you shut the hell up? Are you talking about my aim? I'm having, I'm playing the game just fine, Floof. You're this close. Um, deuterium and tritium are heavy water. They're radioactive. And I was gonna do something, but then Floof in the chat took my attention away. Um, mm, gang gang. Ice cream's so good. I'm losing my mind. Deuterium and tritium are heavy water. They're, they're reactive. They are, uh, they're radioactive. They are H2O. Well, they're hydrogen atoms and they get incorporated into H2O, but they're hydrogen atoms with extra neutrons. So deuterium, two particles, uh, 
hydrogen and an extra neutron, proton and an extra neutron, and then a proton and two extra neutrons, that's tritium. Uh, they can be used as fusion fuel, and they're slightly radioactive in comparison to other elements, but when you say which is more powerful or dangerous, depends on how you use them. Hey Kyle, have you ever considered voice acting? Yes. I tried out for the uh, role of CEO in Horizon Forbidden West. Only audition I ever did. They were gonna scan my face in Siberia. Oh man, how cool would that? How how cool would that have been, huh? But I hear big fat footsteps. Whoa! You can't say fat anymore. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. I can speech check these nerds, but I don't think I have the speech. So. Yeah, let's just pump some bullies into him. Does heavy ice float in heavy water? Yes. Ice is so important, chat, because it's one of the only elements, well, it's one of the only materials that expands as it freezes, and that's why it floats on top of water. Um, if it didn't, think of how different... Oops, that was two side steps. If it didn't, think how different ecosystems would be. What are you doing? You can use your level ups to increase your charisma for the checks as Floof Mubber. Oh, can you, Floof? You're this close. Oh my god. I know, I like to edge my RPG characters. You come into my house? You come into my house and you talk about edging in front of my girlfriend? Do I have any explodies? Sploders. I did not. I'm just trying to help. I'm sorry. No, Fluke, don't worry. I've played hundreds of hours of this game. I'm fine. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell it He's not fat. Oh, poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. Is heavy water still water? Says Nova. Yes. The ocean contains a natural amount of tritium, tritiated water, and deuterium. Deuterated? I'm king of the deuterated castle, water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say deuterated is, is the word. Now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him. But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always deuterated. things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. No, I just came here to fix your bangs. Uh, let's try to get out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. Don't you try to confuse me! Okay. Oh! <laughs> Kill them all! Ow, 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 Darla, please. Please, Darla. I don't want to have to do this. Well, I kind, I kind of do. That's it? <laughs> Darla! Oh, I didn't want to have to do that. I'm gonna take your dress though and wear it later, like a fancy little boy. Which one reduces my... Eh. Who brings a bat to a gunfight? Eh, someone who's... You're gonna rub me what? Someone who's very confident. Just, 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 just tickling him. Just, just tickling him. Reload after you're done. No, chat, but you can not, you can naturally. Oh, my God. Um, chat, you can ingest. See, so when we were talking about, you know, you and me, when we were talking about the danger of the, the water that Fukushima was releasing, one of the things that they pointed out, and I pointed out in our episode about it. Thank you, shut up. Was that um, because heavy water is chemically identi identical to water, it's just H2O, but the H is an isotope of hydrogen, 
deuterium or tritium. Um, it's processed by your body like water, and so unlike other radioactive contaminants, it's not actively taken up into your bones or your thyroid or, or your teeth or something like that. Um, so it's excreted just like water. And so though deuterated and tritiated water is radioactive, um, you could drink it and pass it, and it would be much less harmful than other radioactive contaminants. The case is closed. All right, let's whatever. get out of here. I don't care. The service ladder that should take us right to the surface. Penguins are liars, says Katie Blade. Okay. Oh, right. There's a elevator. Wait. There's a whatever you said. So if I drank heavy water, I just pee it out? Yes. It would be irradiating the inside of your body while it was in your body, which is always bad. It's actually the worst case. Um, but it goes through your system. So drinking rad water and followed is not that bad? Noted. No, Nicholas. Nicholas? I said tritiated and, de and deuterated water does come out of your system. But if there's iodine, radioactive iodine, cesium, plutonium, uranium, hot particles in the water, then that's extremely dangerous. Why doesn't it get absorbed into your body like traditional water, says Daniel? Well, where do you think the water goes after your body is done using it? I crave the spicy water says Christian Hines. How much heavy water would I have to drink before I die of radiation poisoning? I don't know. I think, oh, okay. So I think what it's, it's in our episode about Fukushima's water. So I'd have to go back, but I think you can't, the amount of tritium that's in the water that's coming out of the Fukushima nuclear power plant right now into the ocean, um, you couldn't physically drink an amount of water to give you a dangerous dose. Of course, you'd also be drinking seawater and that would kill you first. But there's so little tritium in the water, um, relatively speaking, that you wouldn't actually be able to irradiate yourself to give you a, a dose that would be dangerous. Can heavy water put out a fire? Yeah. It's just water. It's slightly radioactive water. Chompy, did you let, did you ah, let Lady in here? Look at that Commonwealth or did she just stuff. scratch through one of the blast doors? I never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people- Legil, welcome. Regret. You get water intoxication first. Exactly. Your secretary, Ellie, she sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Is heavy water now, physically heavier? Yes. About your son, Sean. So deuterium and tritium, as we said, have extra neutrons, to to my office and neutrons are heavy. Well, the they're heavier than electrons or something I like that. You've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Lady, don't you come up here. Well, you can if you're, if, okay. Eh, I'll, I'll meet you there. there. See you in Diamond City. Dum, dum, dum. You don't need any. Never mind. I'm not going to make that joke. La da 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 da. Getting a clue. Go to the detective. Okay, so chat, we're continuing on our main mission questy quest. But let's, while we're right here, I think this is where the whatever is, right? Yeah, okay. So while we're right here, let's continue on this one. Bananas are also radioactive, says Alex Romero. It's true. Potassium 40? Potassium-40 is naturally radioactive. Kate is my favorite in this game. Yeah, Kate's pretty hot. I got something for accents, chat. Kate is not better than Curie. Curie is a little science robot with a f heavy French accent and a little pixie cut synth body. Oh, hey. 
Yes, what was that indeed? Yeah, it's it's less it's less that I have a thing for uh, for robots than I have a thing for women with heavy accents. <laughs> Tactical light pistol action. Mm mm, gang gang. Ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. You make me feel like a cowgirl. Gang gang. Woo, ride him, cowboy. Gang gang. Lalelule lo. Come back here. Nano machines. Ow. Ow. Oh, not my foot. Oh, that was my favorite foot. Oh. Where are all you losers coming from? Piper, no piping. Always aim for the knees, chat. It's true. The knees is the crotch of the leg. <laughs> yes. As I said, the knees are the crotch of the leg. Everyone knows that. It makes total sense when you think about it. Could radiation ever result in something like feral ghouls? This is Daniel Peterson bringing up an episode that I had just written not one day ago. Look for that in the new year, Daniel. Mole rat meat. Hmm, so good. Let's follow the happy trail. Follow the trail. What are your perks? I don't have any. Favorite time period, Kyle? What do you mean my favorite time period? Like that I've been alive in or that I know about? Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna do, my Kevins are reaching out to Amazon Studios to do some maybe Fallout related episodes next year. But even if we don't get them on board, we'll probably still do them anyway. But for less money! Um, and, uh, did I just get bamboozled? I did. <laughs> I could have just turned around. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a couple of, uh, Fallout related ideas that we're going to do. No perks? What level are you? Uh, 10? Getting a little hitchy gitchy goo goo gaga. How's the stream? Chad, is the stream still nice and, uh... How's the stream, chat? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> Shoot him in the butt. Chad, how's, how's the stream? Is it still silky smooth? How do I look? How do I sound? How do I hit you as a human being? That time you reload automatically? That's weird. Isn't the Chinese sword in here? Or is that only after that, that cricket quest? Or whatever it is. Silky smooth, yeah. Buttery stuttery. Well, that's the opposite. You look like handsome Thor, redundant. What, what's happening? Hey. <laughs> You too, huh? Nope. Where's the Chinese? Yeah, the Chinese military swords only after that that one quest, right? You look like Black Friday Hemsworth. What did someone say on, uh, someone said on the um, new episode of Shuffle Up and Play today, what did they call me? It was, uh, ah, oh, damn, it was funny though. What am I doing? Oh yeah. It's in a different cemetery, guy. Nuclear Jesus? I'll take it. Nuclear Jesus! Damn it. Q 
uh, floof in the chat in three seconds telling me, well, why don't you just go to where the location is? Because I don't know. What videos do you watch on YouTube besides the science stuff? I actually don't watch a lot of science stuff. Where did you go? Oh. <laughs> I don't watch a lot of science stuff, and that's because I think about and I talk about science stuff all day. Um, I also don't want to um, unintentionally steal other people's ideas, and so I don't really... I don't keep a, a close eye. Well, I keep, like... I'll look at, like, people's titles and thumbnails and, and topics to see what works and kind of keep my ear to the ground for that. Um, but I don't watch as much science stuff as you think for those aforementioned reasons. Uh, what I do do is I watch a lot of stuff that I can just watch in the background. Um, I'll usually watch streamers like Dr. Lupo. Um, and then I'll watch uh, professional climbing. Oh, do I have anything? Nope. I'll watch uh, climbing competition videos like climbing competition international streams because I'm a rock climber. Oh, my buddy. And um, a lot of comp uh, competitive StarCraft, StarCraft 2. Like a lot of longer videos that are like three hours long that I can put on in the background. But I have a certain, you know, I, I have a certain, certain weird interests like competitive StarCraft, competitive rock climbing. Um, I watch a lot of video game donkey, uh, red letter media. Um, I'll, pr I'll watch anything either of those two put out basically. Um, when did you last go climbing? Uh, I hurt my finger kind of recently, so I haven't been climbing in a bit. Doomsday Jesus? All right. Uh, lead doesn't decay like cesium, so lead can permanently poison an area. That's true. Um, would tendons and ligaments act the same without skin over them? Probably not. How'd you get so interested in science? I have two degrees in science, and I've always been really nerdy. Um, when did you last go climb? How many science times are we at? 17. Because you're a rock climber, you're so badass, Kyle. You got, you got that right. What's your favorite faction in SC2? I always played Protoss, but... I don't know, Artosis doesn't like Protoss. I'm a welder and I listen to your Half-Life histories while I'm at work, thank you. Um, have you played Alan Wake, Wake 2? No. Um, how much radiation can a radiated creature subject you to if you are being attacked by it? Um, depends if it has gross contamination on it. When we went and uh, played with the dogs in Chernobyl and helped them out, they still had contamination on their bodies, and so if you were to touch them, you would get that on your body and you need to wash yourself off. Uh, what are your degrees? I have um, a degree in civil and environmental engineering, and I also have a deg uh, master's degree in science communication. Whew, that was a lot of words. That was a lot of words, chat. Is this stronger? Yep. Is this stronger? Nope. Boop. Are you doing a challenge run? You have nine on spurt and sprint per perch. I love the music in Half-Life Histories. Is it a chance on Spotify? No. Um, the, ch the, the music in the Half-Life Histories series was custom composed by me, by a French composer named, I, I don't know if they're French, by a composer named uh, Maidan and he's credited in the Half-Life Histories. If you want to click on his name, he has a YouTube channel and you can check out his music. Um, but we paid him uh, a, 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 not, uh, we paid him adequately for, a, we paid him like a professional composer to make that music for us so we could use it indefinitely. Um, what was I doing? I was following the happy trail. Getting a little hitchy gitchy. That's fine. We can turn it down. How often do you use your um, knowledge from your degrees as Cerberus? Uh, uh, every minute of every day. I mean, one of my degrees is science communication, right? I talk about science quite a bit. Did I already, did I already discover Good Neighbor? Could I have just gone there? No, I guess not. Kyle, have you heard about the Christian 
disaster. I need to learn how to pronounce that. Yes, that is also on my list of um, things to do episodes about. So yes, I have. Ugh. I'm getting getting loaded up here. You should do the big dig quest. Yeah, I know, Floof. I should get um the Yeah, you you hold that you hold those there. Um I need to get the uh ritual dagger. I usually get that pretty early cuz it's so good. Mmm, ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. Gang gang. Gang gang. Rainbow Dash with Australian $5. Is is all airborne pollution that poisons the ground basically fallout? You did mention something about lead, and I was asking because of the smelter. Um, fallout only... Science time. Fallout only refers to... Well, it, it could be, it, it's it's generally known as particulate that is heavy enough to fall out of suspension in the atmosphere. So if things are, con so you could you, you could think of rain as a kind of fallout, a, a, a water fallout because atoms and molecules are condensing around nucleation sites and whatnot, and the water is getting heavy enough to fall out of the clouds. But fallout is generally associated with nuclear fallout, of course, but, you know, um, acid rain, uh, coal, ash, that all could be kind of um, considered fallout, I suppose. Um, what is your favorite commander deck that you own? Um, my strongest is Najila. That's the one that's most pimped out. It is um, very expensive. Fallout. Fallout. I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. I can only speak English, Kaisa's Tope. I know a little bit of Mandarin, and I know a little bit of Spanish. Playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper? I hardly know her. It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some. Chat, fun fact, science time. Uh... Dose for dose, the amount of radioactive material that coal-fired power plants put out in their coal ash is more, much more, than nuclear power plants do. Think about that. Days. How do you feel about proxy cards? I have a lot of proxies. It's okay. Depends. If a, if a Magic the Gathering card, if, if an entire deck is proxied or if they're proxying just thousands of dollars worth of cards... Eh, it gets it gets to be a different thing, but sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary. Nothing in a nuclear power plant really produces there, ash, Jared. Well, I, I, what I'm comparing is when people think that I mean, like, so where nuclear contamination is, science time, in a nuclear power plant is in the spent fuel pool and in the dry casks outside. Um, so there is some amount of radiation in that area above background radiation. But coal-fired power plants, fossil fuel, um, there is radioactive material just naturally from the, the ore and the material that they use that just gets blown out into the air, which is even worse. Hey, to pay old Piper and family a visit, but it's worth it because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Chad, you're asking, you're asking too many good questions right now. Um, do fusion react reactors degrade over time due to the radiation change in the material that it's made out of? Yes. One of the big problems with um, theoretical fusion reactors is that the fusion reaction over time will actively degrade the surrounding material by flinging out trillions and trillions of neutrons out at high energies, out at the metal and in the walls and everything like that. Um, so when you, uh, and that's a big challenge and they would irradiate those walls and those walls would become extremely radioactive and you'd have to deal with that eventually. Um, uh, uh, so when you hear about uh, 
uh, deuterium and tr oh, sorry, no, uh, helium three as a fuel source for fusion. It's because helium three, when used in a fusion reaction, doesn't produce neutrons in the same way. Either it doesn't produce neutrons or it's just not as many. And so, though it's a less efficient fusion fuel, helium three doesn't produce the same number of neutrons. And so, it would degrade it would degrade the fusion reactors less over time. Um, and in fission reactors, like we already have as fission process occurs in the uranium ore pellets, that uranium does decay into other materials and it does get less and less um, good for fission reactions over time. That's why fuel rods start in the center of a nuclear reactor and as they get less and less good for reacting, they are moved towards the outside of the configuration in the reactor and then eventually to spent fuel and then dry casks. Guys, I'm trying to play a video game. Absolutely. Merry more. Christmas, Dova. Thanks for being How here. You protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing. Exactly. Most folks. Brian Eland, that is very nice of you to say. Thanks for being here. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My do you think we're at all close to making fusion practical? No. Um, are we close to making to to giving a proof of concept that fusion is going to work? Sure. <laughs> But practical, no. We haven't even figured out how to turn it into real power yet. One day, our dad turns up dead. His captain. I probably should have listened to this sad story. Start making inquiries. Turns out, captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough. Who is Arya's voice actor? That is in the description of every single video. A group of raiders sacked the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was going to turn Mayburn in. We're here for science, damn it, says Rainbow Dash, who's effectively saying we didn't we didn't come here to f spot as mate. Okay, so I um I didn't listen to your story, so no. I'm going to go ahead and just fast hey, forward through it while nice our <laughs> Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, no. I yeah, we should kiss later. But right now I'm doing this. Hey, this guy's going to get murdered right, in a second. Hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me insurance. Ooh, got him! I'm not interested. Oh, I you got him. Like that. I think you're going to like what I have on offer. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. Did you just one say his cock is soft? Be a new man. I mean, Hancock? Oh, Sorry. Man. So, oh, my bad. Chat. About. Put the black bar on my mouth. Oh, oh, that. Oh, that's. Sorry. Yeah, that, you don't huh? say that to a man. My heart over here. You all right, brother? Yeah. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident. Hancock is cool, but Chet. Hot take. The coolest chick in this game that you can't have as a companion is Fahrenheit. Bladrena Kom Wonkru. Welcome to Facility Gaming. Community. Chad, you know Fahrenheit is hot. The people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Why the bar gotta be black, Kyle? Cause that's what it uh, shut up. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Why are some things radioactive and some things not? Why is uranium radioactive and my bed sheets aren't? Well, if you're unlucky, your bed sheets would be radioactive, wouldn't they? But uh, uranium is radioactive because it's a large. It when it when the atoms were formed, when the element was formed in stars, dying stars, the element happens to be a nucleus that is very large with a lot of particles, and because of that, it can't really keep itself together all that well, and so. It's forced together in the crucible of dying stars and becomes this big nucle nucleus and it's got all these particles and it wants to get more stable once and so it flings out pieces of itself and as it flings out pieces of itself it changes so it loses protons and neutrons and when it does that it go it turns into elements that have less protons and neutrons all the way down until it becomes stable. 
until it becomes something like lead. And it just happens to be an element that was created that way. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jellybean? Yeah, chat, chat, a new chat. Player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Hey, Welcome hey. to our fun and games. Hey, 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 you have Arya's haircut and your. Hey, 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 where, where, are you, where are you going? Did you, okay, okay, no, it's cool. I'm just, yep, I'm, no, I'll be here. It's fine. I'll be here. It's, it's cool. It's cool. I didn't even. It's fine. I just, I was just, um, just say, um, I was just gonna say that if you were, um, gonna. Mahogany baseball bat. My name is Mud. Oh, I don't want to do this here, do I? Damn it. Because now all that steel and stuff is added to their thing. Hey! Everything here is guaranteed. Wait, I didn't need to do... Okay, so now I have good neighbor. I'm going to rest somewhere for a second. Yeah, I do have a thing for the... Went to the haircut, now we're back up a dozen science times? Your lady friend. Man, your haircuts take a lot less time than my haircuts, I'll tell you that. Where's a free sleep? Is it here? Better keep your iron strapped no. on. Oh, I got my Oh, I got my iron strapped. Can you explain reactor xenon pollution? Um Um As fission reactions occur, uh <laughs> As fission reactions occur in the uranium fuel rods, that uranium degrades into other materials. Fission products was the word I was looking for. And one of those fission products is xenon. Now at the temperature that xenon is as a fission product, it is a gas. And so that gas um, can, well, it can be released during a nuclear meltdown when the xenon melts, bubbles out of a nuclear meltdown. Um, but xenon and krypton um, are gases if they were to boil out of uranium fuel, and that would be a contaminant. But those two gases are very short-lived in terms of half-lives, and because they're gases, they tend to disperse. Um, so xenon and krypton, like, were released um, in every major nuclear disaster, but most notably at Three Mile Island. Um, dispersed immediately and became harmless almost immediately. And so, despite what you will hear from people in the area, despite what you will see in um, documentaries on Netflix, there there were zero health effects from Three Mile Island. A zero. A zero. The idea of Kyle with the short hair is a scary one, says Nova. Well, just, just go, just go all the way back on my, go, go to Because Science and look at the first video. Can you give it a small explanation of what a noble gas is? What am I, your chemistry teacher? A noble gas is, a noble gas is an element, and they just all happen to be gases because in this same column of the, uh, they are gases with their valence slots, their orbitals completely filled with electrons. And so they're not wanting for electrons. They're not looking to bond with other things. So because their orbital shells are fully filled with electrons and they don't want to react, they don't react. And we call them noble because they're like, and we call them noble because they're like, ooh, ooh, what a, ooh, what a gross little piece of iron that you are. Uh -huh. they're, they're, they're too noble to react with uh, other lowly elements. So noble gases don't react with stuff. Ooh, I'm Lord Argon. Ooh. Iodine. Really? <laughs> How quaint. <laughs> oh. 
That's how argon sounds. Can you phase a human through a door? No. Not in the lifetime of the universe would that be very likely. Bruce Lee in the chat. I thought you were dead. Happy to have you back, buddy. I love your new video, but hated the fact that you had to make it. Yeah, me too, Ryan, but at least it gives us viewbies. I mean, I know it's a little, like, I mean, I made a video about a conspiracy theory that is obviously untrue, but I decided to make it because I had never heard of that before. I was flabbergasted by the comments that I got. Where people were like, well, nuclear weapons don't exist. It's all a psyop. Like, what the, what? Really? Is that blood or is that the freedom trail? Por que no los dos? We continue on, chat. Could you make a Star Trek transporter in real life? Eh, probably not. Let me sip on that la. Why are there so few elements that are naturally liquid at, a, at room temperature? I don't know. But I can tell you this. There's only two of them. One of them is barium, and the other is this. Man, if that vial broke right now where I'm sitting, oh, that would be so bad. Wait, did I already go in this way? I did. Wait. Wait. Yeah. I always got to turn around in this. Some of you might get ads in a second, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh no, he's got a skull on him. Yeah, I mentioned um, J Arrows. I mentioned Kodak in that episode. And that's a, my my father Derek's video. What's was that cesium? You're the one with cesium in your name, bro. The Brotherhood is the only correct faction to play in Fallout 4, says the guy with the Brotherhood of Steel avatar. I don't know, the Brotherhood kind of seems like a bunch of pricks. Didn't Kodak have their own secret reactor? No. Freedom Trail. Uh-oh. Eh. Uh-oh. Oh. Piper! 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 <clears throat> Shoot him in the leg, in the knee, the crotch of the leg. Damn it. Did I just waste that? Oh no, it's it does it. Okay. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Level 11, no perks, baby. Wee! LFG. William Jakespear in the chat with the cool name and the check mark. William, welcome. William Jakespear. I do like that. Is your name William Jake? Don't tell him. Okay, you told him. That was your mistake. You shouldn't have told him, Chet. Crutch! Nice shot. He was one foot away. I need a better melee weapon. Oh, I should have... I know what, I know what to do. I know what to do. Should have got a better melee weapon, and so I shall. <laughs> or though... Oh, I'd have to increase my lockpick for that. Hmm. Put a rocket on your bat. I wish. Who's talking? You're not talking. Is that you? Chat, we're almost at that. Wait, this isn't the right way, is it? Chat, we're almost at the halfway point of today's stream. If you've been enjoying this time, if you've been enjoying 26 science times, which puts us. Ah, I hate these. There's a rocket launcher guy up there. He's got a rocket launcher, I think. Or no, he does. One of them does. Um, I don't like this part of the game. Anyway. Uh, a classic. If you've been liking the stream, if you've been learning, 
from now a total of, what was that, 43? 79 science times. Let me know by just liking the little old stream. What's it gonna do? Uh, how, how would just liking the stream hurt you, you know? Just like it, just like it, just a little bit. Just, just try it out, you know, that's all I'm saying. Just try it. Just try it out. Oh, right, this isn't the actual building. I was like, I don't remember the railroad being in the Muty building. What? What's that? Who's there? Someone there? No. No way I could pick this. Nothing here but us chicken chickens. Oh, oh no, 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 oh no. Eh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, this is bad. Chat, this is so bad. Oh no, and there's guns. Chat. <laughs> I love the Australian fallout stream. Did you know that the moon looks upside down from where I am? Isn't that weird? Isn't that like kind of crazy? Ow, what? Why is this water so radioactive? <laughs> Piper, where are you? I'm getting so irradiated right now. Ow! No! Ah! This is bad. Chat. <laughs> that was uh, that was a little bit more hectic than I wanted it to be. Chat, if you're liking the stream, please like the stream. Consider. Happy to have everyone here so far. Happy to have all the regulars, all the facility gamer members. Chat, I need you to do a couple things. I need you to get up, if you need to get up. I need you to yeet, excrete, eat something, slay and tist. Nice. Chat, I'm just gonna stretch my leggies. I'm gonna excrete and yeet. And we'll be back. That was just the first half of the stream. Don't go anywhere. I'll know if you go somewhere, so please don't. I don't wanna have to track you down again, okay? There's still a whole second half of the stream. So I'll see you in about 90 seconds or so. Don't go anywhere. Because I will also attack you in your knees. The crotch of the leg. Here, I'll give you something to listen to. I'll be right back.
Chat, welcome back. As you know, as we continue... Kevin! As you know, as we continue these science times, as we continue these science times, we, have, we must... Contin we must make sure that we are continuing to be intelligent, keeping our brain on track. And so I like to do that at the halfway point in our streams by connections. Connections, you make groups of four uh, of things that those groups share, but they can be really tricky. They usually try to have a couple of words that can fit in multiple different categories. So let's see. I'm pretty damn good at this, so let's see if we can do it. I have this window up over chat, so I can't see anything that you're you're saying. Parts of a book. There's too many things happening in my ears. Parts of a book. Mm, chapter. But could these, it, this, this seems too easy now because they usually try to fit these into different categories. This seems pretty. You make a phone call, you dial a phone, you buzz a phone. These are all different words for calls. You know, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> you ring, you buzz, you call, you dial. Oh! Speedy Gonzalez, Tom and Jerry, Pinky and the Brain. These are all mice. These are all, these are all cartoon mice. It has to be. Dinky. And see, see, an itchy from The Simpsons. Oh, which makes these not minute. They're trying to trick you on that. It's actually minute for small. Oh! Oh. Just so good at that, it's nuts. It's nuts. Chat, are we having a good time so far? I'm having a good time. Happy to have everybody here. I'm just so, I'm so good at that. That was, that was what? Less than two minutes? Woo! Welcome. But since there's still fallout music playing in my ear, I say, what are we at, 26 science times? Let's hop right back into it. The scientist plays Fallout 4. Right back into it, chat. Uh, my controller disconnected. I want to run right... I forget where the frickin... the actual railroad building is. Um, we're at 60... We're at 69 science times right now. Nice. Oh, whoops. Just a second. There you go. Just a second. Make sure the stream's silky smooth. Can't be watching myself. We can go all the way around those losers. You think the building's in Boston? Thank you so much. It's that little church building, right? Stop it! Oh, yeah, see? Wait. Yeah, see? I just skipped a whole... a whole bunch of crap. <laughs> Chad, how are we doing? Oh, I'm doing not so good now. Wait, did you hear the sound that thing made? That was crazy. Oh, they're not. Oh, they're not taking very much damage at all. Oh, 
that's not what I want to do. Why would I ever want to do that? Why would I want to do that? Why, why would I, why would I, why, why would, okay. Mutant hounds are so good because when you cook up their little bones, their little meat, they give you this meat that reduces your rads too, which is very cool. <laughs> Popping heads and crotches today, Chet. Ow! Eh. Come on. Getting so low on health because I have no upgrades. That was my own doing. Now, excuse me. Trying to walk the Freedom Trailalia. Oh, it's right here. I should, I should remember where this is for future reference. It's right there. Got it. If that vial of mercury breaks, is it enough to kill you or make you seriously ill? Yeah. If I, like, ate it. You think we'll ever see the world run on nuclear power, says Ryan Dent. Um, probably not a majority, unfortunately, in my opinion. Just the, uh, the PR for nuclear is just so bad. It's just been completely obliterated. Public opinion has been completely obliterated by, well, was by, you know, Chernobyl and then Fukushima just made it even, even, even worse than it already was. So, probably not. To the world's detriment, I believe. Yeah, Piper, you do that, will you? Piper. Piper, you got that, right? Environmental storytelling skeleton, skeleton. Environmental storytelling skeleton, yeah. Oh, it's, it's not there, it's on the other side. It's not there, it's on the other side. It's not there, it's under there. I should go back to my place and heal up. I always forget, what, what's the word that I frickin' punch in? I always forget. I just saw an effect, LiDAR has an effect on spiders in that it can sense the LiDAR pulses and cause them to flinch. Jay, you know what's really cool? Spiders do in fact have a spider sense. They have these um, tiny little hairs called trichobothria on their bodies, and they're kind of like whiskers, but we also know that they are the most sensitive biological sensing organ that we've ever discovered. Um, so sensitive, in fact, what you just said is true, that they can feel the pressure of a laser beam on them. Think about that for a second. Their hairs are so sensitive that if I had a laser pointer on your body, you could feel it. Like, actually feel it. It's wild. And so when you talk about spider senses and like spider-man Sp spiders do have absolutely unbelievable sensory organs um where i think another science time i think the value is something like if a spider was scaled up such that it was so big it could raise a leg and touch space so it's like many many kilometers high dozens of kilometers high it could feel if its leg bent like a centimeter A spider almost as tall as space could feel its leg bend like that. It's, it's, uh, it's unreal. Now, why did they evolve to be that sensitive? Well, well there's sensor, they're, they're, they hunt. The, oh no, he's so strong. Well, the, the way that they hunt, right? I mean, it relies on extreme sense. There we go. 
you know, uh, senses. So they have to sense on webs. They can eat their hair. We think, science time. We think that their hair is sensitive enough, their trichobothria is sensitive enough. They can feel the wing beats of um, flies and other flying organisms. Ooh, yes, yes, give me that. Doesn't have a sight on it though. But I do like poison. Noise. Dampa dampa. Dampa 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 dampa. Nice and quiet again. The LiDAR from her iPhone triggered the spider. Yeah, I believe it. Because science time, I first remember seeing you in the void. This is Katie Blade. Yeah, that was, um, I, I researched all that for a Spider-Man episode. Of course you're alive. Oh, God. Chat, what is the stupid word? Is it railroad? I think it's railroad, right? I don't want to, I don't want to go through it. It's railroad, right? Yeah, it's railroad. Okay. Um. This clock line is kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, it spins. <laughs> hey, look at that! Yeah. Rail. Oh, so it starts with R? Damn it! Yeah. Yeah. Do I have to use the other? I'm just gonna use the other one. Just in case. Uh oh. I guess I have to, I guess there's only one A, so I do have to use that one. Right. What makes an animal resistant to radioactivity? Uh, animals that are less complex tend to be more resistant to radioactivity. That's because they have less cells with less DNA in those cells, less chances for those DNA in those cells to be damaged by radioactivity. Um, and certain animals can be more radio resistant than others if they have certain proteins or cell cellular repair uh, mechanisms that make it's them better at withstanding you. radiation. But who told you how to contact us? I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the Desdemona. And you are Deacon. Where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. I am. Yeah, I've been pretty busy. It's true. You know, you're practically famous. You've left a trail of destruction in your way. So you're vouching for him? Yes. Anyone know that song I was singing? Someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? I'm going to be vague. No. My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? Wait, is that an Eagle song? I thought that was uh, Almond Brothers song. For your sake, I hope the Institute is Oops. involved. I just need help, all right? I don't know who took him. I just want help. Yet. For your sake, I... Right. I know, you just said that. This. If anyone no, not Desperado. Oh, I was singing Desperado, and that's the Eagles. No, I was singing Desdemona by Almond Brothers. Right? Yeah, I know about yeah, it. Yeah, 
I know all of Good. them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Sure. What if they want to be treated like that? Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Have you ever been to Australia? It says Henny Von Bat. Oh. Question. Honey Von Badger says, have you ever been to Australia? I'm an Aussie, by the way, and we don't notice the accent on... And we don't notice the accent until it's on TV. Like, we really do sound like that. Yeah, you do. But I love it. That's why I've practiced it. I've never been to Australia. I'd love to go. I will go next year. It's on my... It's on my... It's on my list. Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into your missing. Is there, is there any what evolutionary benefit to higher anxiety? And others is what drives us. Well, you always no have to ask, exactly you know, anything is, is not right everything now, necessarily is evolutionarily evolutionarily there are, however, adaptive. There could be things that are and in turn, just consequences of an evolutionary this. adaptation. You're so being incredibly sensitive to social cues that could be beneficial to, you know, primates, social primates. But then anxiety could be a uh, knock-on effect of that that isn't necessarily beneficial, but being highly social is beneficial enough that it doesn't not, that, that it doesn't try to get it out of the, the gene pool, so to speak. Your Australian accent sounds funny. No, it doesn't. It sounds all right. What's done is done. We weren't exactly expecting slippers and a cold Nuka-Cola. A healthy attitude. I mean, I but was. It's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. <laughs> There's two types of accents down here in Australia. The one you have nearly perfected and the one we aren't allowed to do. <laughs> Best gaming channel, hands down. Come on, Ryan. I'm nobody. What's the one you're not allowed to do? The one that sounds like... Uh, Steve Irwin. Don't worry, I'll keep your secret. That's or uh, what I want to hear. Crocodile Dundee. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this: the railroad needs you. Like you need that wig? You got my attention. I got a job too big for me, just perfect. Then, if you get into a bind... All right, all right, let's go. Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old Perfecto. freeway I'll fill you in once you get there. Beyond, I've never heard of that person. I'd have to look into it. Perfecto. Can I get... Can I fast travel? Just as we stay here until you leave. No pressure. We'll can, I, can I fast travel from here? I don't think so. Can I? I can. Um, I want the thing from the thing. I guess I haven't discovered it yet. Uh. Well, then why give me the option? Best not to attract attention. The one that sounds like indigenous Australians. Oh, well, yeah, don't do that. Thought you meant the Steve Irwin accent. Wildlife and wildlife conservation. Hit! Is there any other benefit to heightened anxiety levels? I don't know, man. You can make it work for you, but but it's it's too difficult. Like it's too easy to make up stories about how things could work in evolution in in human history, like evolutionary psychology and stuff. Those things are very hard to prove. You know. Why do men men like red lipstick lipstick so much? Because it mimics a primate in est in estrus. It's like, eh, eh, eh. New Zealand, 
has a little accent as well. That did look like Johnny Cage, didn't it? Look at this loading time. Your accent sounds like a dirty British accent. You sound like a dirty British accent. Yes, what is elevated anxiety if not just human spidey sense? Some of you might get ads in a second, but they should have been a lot less this time. I turned them way down. I turned them down to the lowest frequency they could go because I'm thinking about you. Well, yeah, Flutha, because Django Fett is New Zealand. He is from New Zealand, isn't he? What's his name? Always was a little jealous of folks who could craft something other than a paragraph. That's a nice little sentence you got there. Get me my mutant hand, mate. You don't get better at accents without practicing. I do. Practice all the time. Chompy loves it. Store all my bullshit. Wrong button. Always wrong button, because I'm never pressing the correct button because I'm using a PlayStation controller instead of an Xbox controller. Let's do... One little... Where did I put the bid? Did I put the... All right, I could put bids in here. Got my bids in here. Get them all right away. Is that enough? Well rested. Ready to murder. I mean. Explore. Get a calzone, Beyond. It's just an origami pizza. Two hours, 30 science times. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, I think there's a science quiz we can take in the science place. It's only like one question, but I think I think we can take a science quiz. How long since the bombs dropped in this game? 200 years. And would exposed metal still be good for crafting ammunition? Why wouldn't it be? Depends on what you're making out of it. Making it out of, rather. Sorry. Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old? Yeah, baby. Looking pretty good for your age, huh? <laughs> you know it. Hey, how about I'm so thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. I need that sweet, sweet liquor cold. Take a science quiz. Beep. Uh, Daniel Patterson, why don't invertebrates grow to be as large as those in Fallout? Does it have something to do with the square cube law? Yes. Professor? I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh, no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using... Chat, they're just roommates. Nuclei? I mean, how 
Could they even... Ah, uh ha! You do want to talk about it. Ah, uh, oh, look! We have a visitor. Chat, they're just Dr. roommates. Dr. Dear, if you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there! Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Yep. Sure, sounds fun. Yes! Love that enthusiasm! Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. Mmm, not really. Uh, dozens of different ionizing rays. So if she's talking about um, radiation, ionizing radiation, then she's, then, and if they're rays, then if they don't have mass, then they're going to be photons. And the only photons uh, of light that are ionizing to that point would be um, after visible light. So ultraviolet, X-ray, gamma ray. Um, there are, there, I mean, I guess there could be different, Em emitters of those things, but to say there's dozens of different kinds of rays is not... I don't think it's true! You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays? X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays. So you said dozens, and then you named three. Um, but she's considering a ray to also be like a particle beam, which is beta, which is electrons. So a beam of electrons would be a beta ray, I guess. Which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Chat, which... I know this answer. Of course I do. But which kinds of rays are we most worried about? X-rays, beta rays, or gamma rays? 200 years later. Infinitely many ionizing rays because spectrums, is Jared. Well, we would... No, I think, so X-ray, everything in the electromagnetic spectrum is a band, right? So I think everything at gamma rays and above is just a gamma ray. We have most people, looks like, giving the correct answer. Gamma rays? That's right. Woo! Now, gamma rays are bad, really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. Now, anemia, because fatigue and anemia, so anemia, loss of red blood cells, and that's because if you get too much, if you get irradiated too much, it can literally destroy your bone marrow because your bone marrow is preferentially targeted because it's a lot of fast dividing cells in there. And inside your bone marrow is where your red and white blood cells are produced. And so anemia after that would be a drop in your red and white blood cell count, which is why acute radiation syndrome can be so hard to treat is because when you have no immune system anymore, everything will get you. What In what episode was it? Was it the body snatchers of Los Alamos? when um, he was irradiated so bad, so, so much <laughs> that when they opened him up, his bone marrow was literally slush. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? Yes, very interesting. It That's is. That's what science is all about. No, it's not Louis Slotin. Who the hell was it? He put his brain in a mayonnaise jar. Can't remember his name. Should probably know. Nothing stays the same. Everything reacts. Now it's time for the field trip portion of today's lesson. Are you ready? Yep. Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloat fly gland. Boo. You see the old Cecil fly Kelly. Fly Thank you, Paul. Today yes. Evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? I love the science, but I came to watch you apply the game scenarios to science stuff while you play. I wanted you to play a little bit more. I'll be back next time. This is Chris. Um, I hate to break it to you, Chris, but this is mostly what Fallout is. Get the blowfly gland. Got it. Remember, bring the gland back in one. This is pretty much what you do. Uh, 
Okay, so let's not do that. Let's go oh, pro progress the valen the Valentine. Shut up, Nina. Let's progress this storyline. Well, Chris, what do you want from me, man? You want me to play or you want me to say? Play or say. Hey, are you here? Nick? Oh God, it's really you. Now kiss. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Some Appreciate it, Cordell. Thanks for being here. Back. Not as long as I got a few friends. That's on hell, uh, that's on the list. Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. I like your haircut. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah. Go diving into scary pre-war ruins uh, all the time. Yeah, we're gonna find Curie, but I'm not. I knew I'm too, uh, on the I'm too weak. We went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One oh, oh easy time. now. This guy sucks. Our new friend needs our help first. A full Australian right, stream? Oh, man. Take a seat. That'd be hard. Comfortable. Nick. Sit down. Make okay. Comfortable. All right. I'll sit my big ass down. Trying to find someone who's gone missing. Uh huh. We're okay, we're for my son. okay. We're just we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go through this. Uh huh. Current 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 crash. We're gonna go through this. We're looking for my son, Sean. We uh, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep doing. My Damn it, Sean. Good Are you gonna romance Curie? Uh my yeah. Was... So right. That... Uh huh. I know where I'm so going with this. this. So, well, and since Chris Topher wants me to play the game, lie. then you got the newer. Worst of all, either way, you're right. The woman was dressed in um, maybe some sure. the hazards. What else do you? One of them came right up to me. Wait. He's bald and I scared. Might have. Mm -hmm. Ellie, what notes do we have about uh -huh. the description matches? And he bought a. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. It's Sean. It Don't. Look, let's see. Uh -huh. Always. So he recognizes the guy who shot my wife and took my baby. So we're going to follow him. Don't forget to get grab the case file for the Chinese sword quest. You skipping all the dialogue? Yeah, this is the full game. Valentine a ghoul? No, he's a synth. Thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. Oh yeah, this is the first big experience gate. You're right. I need lockpick or charisma to get the key. You're right. Isn't this like expert? It's master. Alright. So I would have to level up there. I could speak to Paladin Dancy Boy. Let's see how far we can get there. Is this his second playthrough? Pontiac, no, I've played through this game many, many times, hundreds of hours, but we don't have a full playthrough on the Chan Chan. So, given that more people have tuned in to watch this than anything we've ever done on this channel, we shall continue. Can radiation become visible, as in a highly radiated area show signs of it, like how heat distorts the air? This is Red Hawk. Yeah, so you can get ionized air glow, and you can make other things glow as well, Red Hawk. So in almost every single report of a criticality accident that's bad enough, it's always reported to have a f blue flash of light, and that's either Cherenkov radiation, um in people's eyeballs or ionized air glow or both. People reported uh, a blue beam of light shooting out of the Chernobyl reactor number four when it exploded. Um, isn't that like the auroras? No. Um, well, eh, not really. Um, 
It's not, those are energetic particles being captured by magnetic fields and such. And it's, yeah, so, and, yeah, 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 it's in the same ballpark. Um, so yes, you can have radioactive things become or, 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 or show itself indirectly. No, you would not see something like that in Chernobyl. The, the in in the contamination zone, in the exclusion zone. Now, no, you wouldn't. Power Radiation is way too low for that. Ready to move out. You're going to Egypt soon. How would you recommend to acclimatize to the new temperature? I have no idea. I'm extremely thermosensitive. I get. I'm too hot right now. Ready. Outstanding. Follow me and try not to. I have a fan me. on me right now. Ooh, look at you, fancy boy. I'm never gonna pallet and dance again. Longer how man, how long fat man radiation would take to dissipate IRL, says Tom. Um, the radiation after a nuclear bomb dissipates in a couple of days to a week or two. The worst of it does. Look at, look at these loadies, huh? Um, I don't think people are gonna, ever going to be allowed to move back into the exclusion zone. Huh? Not unless it's um, s seriously cleaned up. But, um, there's... Yeah, you, you go ahead and you, you deal with that. Thank you. Um, but there's a case to be made for a place like Fukushima that people should be allowed to move back in or, or should have been allowed to move back in years ago. Um, and we will address that question in the final installment of our Fukushima trip. We will talk about the morality and practicality and and all of that of going back into an exclusion zone in the next episode. It will be an interesting one, for sure. Where I take a pretty, uh... Pretty, uh, I take a pretty spicy take. Oh yeah, this mission is awesome. You're right, Jared. This is where I get to to uh, test the test the rocket ship, right? Does plasma burn in real life? Oh yeah, plasma is extremely hot gas, basically. Um, plasma, as another st one of the states of matter, is gas that gets so hot. It start the stuff's jiggling so quickly in there that it becomes ionized. And so plasma can duck, can interact with electromagnetic fields, which is Jesus, which is, which is why we can confine plasma in things like fusion reactors is because you can use magnetic fields to interact with the plasma Uh, I'm stuck on stuff. <laughs> what about plasma globes then? What about them? The second wasn't so fortunate. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them. They haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, we lost four good Plasma is not a goop. No. You're thinking of blood plasma. And most of your blood. It's not most, but is it? Is it majority of your blood? Is it like 70%? A good fraction of your blood is made out of blood plasma. It's like yellow, it's like yellow kind of goopy stuff when you separate it. When you separate it in a centrifuge or whatever. But um, give me that sweet, sweet blowfly meat. 
Yum, yummy, yum. Um, but plasma, as we're talking about in sci-fi kind of stuff, it's it's hot, hot gas. Kyle is a synth. You can't prove that. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Give me your sweet, sweet dog meat. I'm never gonna paladin dance again. Let me use my laser rifle because there's gonna be a lot of ammo on the ground for it. I do not know why plasma and plasma share the same word. I do not know the, et the etymology of that shit. Can you separate heavy water from regular water in a centrifuge? I don't know. Probably not. Jeb, one of the reasons why cleaning up, or one of the reasons why Fukushima is releasing tritiated water in back into the ocean is that it's extremely difficult. I don't even know how they do it, actually. But it, it's extremely difficult and cost inefficient to separate heavy water out from regular water. And that's because they're so chemically similar, they're basically identical. And so the processes are laborious and time consuming and expensive. And so reports have concluded that it's not a viable solution to separate the tritium at a rate that is better that is faster than the rate of contaminated water building up on site. And so they decided to just start discharge it into the ocean. So it's very hard to separate tritiated water. That was a, a, a that was a flash, a thermo flash. Paladin, listen up. Thermal we pulse. Keep this clean and quiet. No heroics and by the book. Understood? I know in reality you don't have any meds to scrub or prevent uptake minus iodine and thyroid, but do you think any method for scrubbing radiation like Radex could be possible, says Paul Morgan? Well, we talked about this on the last stream, but there is, there are chemical compounds that you could ingest that would, um bond with radioactive contamination and then because it's now bonded and it's a different thing could be excreted um prussian blue is the name of a chemical that they used in brazil after the goyonia disaster with cesium-137 to remove internal internal contamination from people understood outstanding remember our primary target is the deep range transmitter you're a deep range Stay transmitter and check your fire i don't want to be hit by stray bullets you're wearing a big oh whatever I'm never gonna pallet and dance again. That's why we're here, Paul. No worries, baby. There's a reference to a Doctor Who episode in here for bonus points. I don't, uh, I don't, I, I, I don't watch Doctor Who. Is that the same Prussian blue chemical that was used for blueprints? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, if it is, that's cool. No, don't don't drink Bob Ross's paint. God, this guy's such. <laughs> this guy's. Uh, you could tell this guy would be a libertarian Elon Musk type. Look at these bricks. Shut up. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm I'm scavenging. I'm sorry. What were you saying? You big dumb idiot. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Looks like we missed the party. You're making a foolishly hasty assessment. Look at the evidence. Hey, screw There's you, been pal. A single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. Hey, these lady. robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Hey, lady. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. No, I don't play Doctor Who Commander. I don't watch the show. I'm not interested. Ow! 
Ah, oh, she grabbed my lip, chat. Oh, and I just wanted to show her your, her little face to you. Ah. Oh. That was fun, huh? That was a little adventure we just had, huh? Piece of shit. Now. Now. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. Love you. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. Yeah, it sure does look like a dead end. This is beyond me. Damn it. Guess I'm gonna have to use some perks, chat. I don't want to. Wait. All right. I guess I gotta be a smart boy. Ow! Lady, you got me. all I'm doing. Whew. She turned over on her belly, on her back and her belly's out and she's like, you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. Why are you avoiding spending skill points? Because I can. Light him up! Is this his first time playing Fallout 4? No. Played many, many, many hours. If I pick up their pistol, do I get more ammo? I do. I'm gonna pick all that crap up. Sensor anomaly detected. detected. Possibly. How are you gonna fit through there? How get you, how are you gonna get your big dumper through there? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I was looking at your dumper. Sorry, I was checking out your sweet dump. All right, I'll use the rest of them, chat. No, I don't want to. Don't put black bars over the dumper. Yeah, you're right, sorry. I'm just checking out the assets, chat. Man, she kind of sliced my... Uh, Mouth, huh? eh. Do you believe laser weapons would be useful handheld weapons one day? Red Hawk, they already are. That's the thing. It's in some, it's not the Geneva, it may not be the Geneva Convention or something like that, uh, but it's some other regulation or, 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 or rule of war that um, we've agreed as a people to not make laser weapons that can instantly and permanently blind combatants. Um, it would be trivially, trivially easy right now to put a sufficiently powerful laser onto something the size of a rifle or a handgun and have it, if it hits someone in the eye, it will instantly blind them. But we have decided that that would suck so hard that we have agreed to not do it. It's like biological weapons, you know? Where it's like, yeah, we can kill people, but we don't want to choke to death on mustard gas. That sounds horrible. So let's just not, we'll still kill each other, yeah, sure. But let's just like not do that, because that sucks. Just like, like, I would, I would, as a PO, as a, as a, as a warman, 
a soldier <laughs> or a warman, sure. I would rather lose a limb or something than... I would rather lose a limb or something than be permanently blinded. 100%. You know what I mean? How well do you know Jake from Vsauce 3? Says Onion Knight. He's a, he's a friend of mine. We're not... We're not the closest of people, but... Met with him a number of times. Hung out with him a few times. Paladin dance. I'm never gonna paladin dance again. There's a magazine on the table. Will you just deal with that dance? Jeez. I'm trying to hack. My intelligence is so high, that's why there's so few options. That's what I like. There we go. Never gonna... Give me your relay targeting cards and whatever else. Whee! Oh, ladies' bathroom. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, everybody. You ever play a, command, a game of Commander with Post Malone? Yes, I've played, uh, I've played for many hours with Post Malone. It's interesting because he has zero budget, so all of his decks are crazy. Crazy high power. Shock day with the Canadian 10, Fallout Las Vegas. New Vegas must be played by everyone in the chat multiple times. And why can't Rad Waste be nasty deep green goo, Kyle? Why? Well, because it isn't. Uh, for one. Um, but yeah, Fallout New Vegas, I also recommend. We played it on stream. There's like six streams of it. Lady. I'm just trying to be cute because you slice my face up. Yes, Floof, I know that. I've played this game as again for hundreds of hours, I'm aware. Yes. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's down. Look at this look at this thing. This thing gets Elon hard just looking at it. He'd he'd look at this and be like, Oh, so much better back then when comedy wasn't Rocket literally space. illegal. I should spend all my money on something and then make it worth nothing. This part's cool. Should I stand underneath it? Do you like Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 4 more? Well, it's definitely easier to play Fallout 4 for sure. Um, I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. Na, 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 na. Fusion core, la la la. Wait, do I have to put that up to it? Why is nuclear waste in popular media depicted as glowing green goo? And that, that stems from the first that stems mostly, in my estimation, from the first popular consumer application of um, radiation, and that's undark, a paint that glows this luminous green that you're seeing on screen. Uh, it was used in watch faces and gun sights and all that sort of stuff, and it used the first uh, radioactive element discovered, radium, which is extremely radioactive. Um, and so Undark became so popular that I think it continues on to this day to have that glowing green uh, luminosity that it gave, gave off as the nuclear look. Um, it fell out of favor, of course, over the years and with the tragedy of the Radium Girls um, who were making Undark paint and, and ingesting Undark paint. Um, but I believe it comes specifically from Undark, why things are still depicted green like that. Whole land nice. powered up. There it is. Engine core power restored. Test it up. Engine fuel primed. Do it. Close this door. Commencing five second countdown. Here we go. Five. Science. Let's do it. Four. Dance. I'm just gonna say this right now. You might 
want to make sure that your suit is, um, you might want to make sure that your suit is, um, uh, sealed. Right there, that, so look at that, that is a uh, arc, no, it's, it's a shock diamond. So that those are uh, multiple interacting shock waves in the plume of this engine that are bouncing off of each other and creating a shape. It, like, it's almost like a standing, almost like a standing wave. See that? Right there. Right there. Isn't that cool? What's up? Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. That's pretty good. Now, let me just take literally everything here so it boosts my... So I get my ammo that I need, and then I will dump everything on the ground. I don't care about you, Dance. You're a robot, I don't care. You okay, buddy? Oh my god, are you alright? <laughs> One science time away from matching last stream. Woo. Yeah, it's the, it's a, it, Fallout 4 is now officially the most sciencey stream, the most sciencey game we've ever played on the stream chat. I know it's a junk jet, I just don't care. Get your big metal butt in here. Or don't. <laughs> Uh, what are your thoughts on microwave engines to propel spacecraft? I've heard of it somewhere, but don't know if it's real. If you're referring to the quote unquote reactionless drives, um, I don't put any real, um, I don't take any real interest in those. As far as I know, they're impossible, literally, literally impossible. Hit. Where is the device? Show. Oh, I found it. <laughs> where is the device? Show us where the device is. If you do not show us where the device is, I will eat your soul. I mean, be angry. I think they work in the same principle as solar sails. What are your thoughts on those? Solar sails definitely work. Um, Carl Sagan was a big proponent of them. You just take a big mylar sheet and you use the photon pressure from the sun to continuously build up tiny, 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 tiny amounts of thrust over months or years, and then you can get something going pretty quickly. But in that case, there's something bouncing off of something and going away and moving away from the... Um, what, what I'm getting at is that the problem with reactionless drives is that there's no reaction. All rocket science is just throwing something in the direction opposite that you want to go. That's it. But something has to leave the system for there to be a momentum change like that. Um, so solar sails, you have photons, which have momentum from the sun, hitting the solar sail. Equal and opposite reaction, it bounces off. And that, it's like hitting it with like tiny little gunshots and boop, 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 boop. But reactionless drives don't have that kind of reaction, which is why I think they're impossible. Dagwood with the two. I've never heard of uh, laser-induced plasma filaments, although I guess I know what you're talking about. I mean, you can use plasma to make, you can use lasers to make little things of plasma, for sure. A35 says, my name is A35. Cool, good to know. Dance. Thanks for being here. Well, that could have gone so yes, Zerberus, I was making a Pick of Destiny reference, yes. Oh, I was making a uh, tribute Tenacious D reference, yes. 
I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing... Uh -huh. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to... Oh, doesn't he give me uh, his custom laser rifle here, I think? I think you'll find this weapon useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serve you well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Righteous Authority. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, civilian. Now, as far as the second matter goes, we had a lot thrown at right. me. Our op could have ended it. There's no doubt in my mind. The way I see it, you could spend the rest of your life or so. Mm hmm. I'd be honored to join. Yeah, it. That's what I wanted. To Meet me back at the police station and we'll discuss this. Uh huh. Piper doesn't like the Brotherhood of Steel, but I just want to do a bunch of missions with them so that I get experience and then I will stab them in the back and blow up their airship. That's all. Could rad storms happen IRL? Not like you see it like that. Um, so what do I have to do here? I, I don't have enough. I'm not high enough level to pick the thing. So let's continue on this, this pathy way. Whatever happened at Tenacious D, uh, they're still, uh, they're still touring. We're now at 44 science times chat. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Sciencyest game of all time. Just got done watching you beat the professor on a new episode of Shuffle Up and Play. Brandon, thanks for reminding me. Chad, if you want to watch yours truly play some commander with some other sciencey people, including Tier Zoo from YouTube, go to Tolarian Community College on YouTube, watch the latest episode of Shuffle Up and Play, where I brought a deck that was way too strong for the pod, and I bodied them. Hey, buddy. Hey, boy. You're not going to judge me from joining a bunch of mutant-phobic bricks and suits, are you? Okay, good. Just check. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Righteous authority. There. Let's get everything. Let's. I guess we'll keep that, but I hate it. If you wanted to make me a second printing, so cool to see this game. It. Get the science time special to Zodiac. Oh, I mean, whew, you kidding me? This is, this is the, one of the most sci, the, the most sciencey ever. Don't need it. I know I'm not gonna use any of this crap. Maybe if I need a snipe, I'm not going to. What's, am I using the poisoners? I am, okay. Scrap it. Do I have, I wanna start modifying these things. Ooh, I do have that already. Cool. Cool. We'll do that later off stream so I don't have to bore all you wonderful people. Where does he get all those wonderful toys? And I thought my jokes were bad. Kyle, you handsome bastard, says Shock Day with a 10. How do you manage to be both an incre incredible nerd yet fun and chatty and have Goku power, Goku pull up power at the same time. We must know the science. It's a shock Tay. Um, I have good genetics for my mom. So I have good hair. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get great education at every level, having fantastic teachers going to a couple of private schools. Um, it has been my literal job to be nerdy for a living and, and intelligent for a living in an entertaining way for 10 years. I think if you add all that together, uh, it makes more sense. What I'm saying is, is that free will doesn't exist and you're just a consequence of actions that you can't control and I just happy to be lucky enough to be in the body that I am at the time that I am in this short period of existence. Did you think I froze? Our little sanctuary revival project has really helped. It takes my mind off things. Who asked you, John? Take a shower. 
Jesus. I guess I'll level up, chat. What is a juggalo? No idea. Whoop whoop. Do you intend to add some mods later? I don't know how to add mods. I don't know how. I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> Where am I going? I think someone's going to attack me right when I exit. No, I want this. I want to poison people. In game. Can we make light water and what will you use it for? Um, usually uh, we drink it. What's your favorite weapon in the game? Ooh, good question. Um, hmm. Mm, isn't there the infinite combat shotgun in this one? But Kyle, you are the super intelligent internet zaddy. I am now a zaddy, I've been told. Um, I'm fine with it. Poison them with the truth of science. Indeed. But if these bullets are, well, I guess the bullets would be poison. Chad, if the bullets are covered in poison and I sh inject them into the body, are the bullets venomous instead? Is the ga the Gauss rifles in this game too? Oh yeah, the Gauss gun. I like the Gauss gun the most, for sure. The fully upgraded Gauss gun that almost one shots uh, Brotherhood vertebrates. Whoo, that thing is serious. I also like the combat shotty. If you can figure out how nuclear stuff and physics works, I'm sure you can Google how to mod Fallout. Yeah, you think that. Poisons and toxins act differently. Uh, I'm not sure about that one, no bark. Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander camo. I don't. I'm gonna shoot it's you in the. Oh, all right. Never mind. Garbage, asshole. Back off. Yeah, that was pretty good. Good, right? It was. <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps too. Yeah, I think the poison toxin thing is more of like a is like a dolphin whale situation. You can change your face. I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. Thanks for being here, Zionic. Guessing. No, Jaden, I know what poison and venomous means. I'm just saying. I'm trying to find a border case. Stop screwing with me. This is not for your benefit. It's to stay one step ahead of you know who. The Institute. Which I will soon it's head. The job. The railroad's only recently been using the old chat. Speaking of which, if you want these cool holographic stickers job. right now, um, that have awesome nuclear waste system. warning slogans on them from decades old reports that we crafted right now on shop.kylehill.net. We have those, we have those for sale and on any purchases over $75, you leave me a note and we'll do a cameo situation when you check out. I will leave you a video message saying whatever you want. Shout out, birthday, I'll belittle you, whatever you want. You know, within reason. Not like black bar kind of stuff, but you know, I, I will tell you that you're worthless. For money. That sounds really, really bad. It was a disaster with a capital D. Disaster. Bethesda has his own mod menu literally on the so main screen. Something important oh. We had to leave behind. Let's find it then. We got to do one thing first. We got a tourist nearby. Sorry. He or she has information on the Okay, now. let's go get him. So I'm looking for rail Feet pics? No. Symbols. I mean send messages to each other. If you like that, <laughs> I mean signs, Depends how how much merch you buy, I guess. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll Swing the camera down towards the feet for a second. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's Alberto Ala Alberto Alacron with an MX129. Alberto Gracias. I'm assuming that's Mexican. 
But Alberto, gracias. El placer es mío. Thanks for being here. Bienvenidos. A la facilidad. Does that mean facility in Spanish? I don't know. He's coming right for us. Oh, the poison. It does nothing. Yeah, venomous bullets are kind of like depleted uranium bullets, huh? Hey, thanks, Deacon. Holy crap. What are you doing over there? Hey. Deacon, am I going the wrong way or are you? Did you know that laser weapons do more damage to super mutants? No, I didn't. Keith Michael, welcome. I'm never gonna pallet and dance again. Let's go, bro. You are the slowest secret agent in the world. Cerberus, yes, I'm aware. Depleted uranium is used for its density. Um, because all things being equal... Another. We're probably close. All things being equal, an object with a higher density moving at supersonic speed will penetrate according to the ratio of the densities between the two things. So the denser the object, science time, the more of a multiple of its length it will travel based on the ratio of the density. So if something is five times more dense than the target, it will go much deeper. Um, and so depleted uranium, uranium, uranium being one of the densest things, if you can shape it into a bullet, it'd make a good bullet. Absolute zero, welcome. Let's crack a little. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby. I'm n I don't, I'm not going to read your hobo language. Look, no matter what he says, where do you rank on the density scale, Kyle? I mean, I'm about, you know, a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. You know, I, I do what I can. Okay. What's the difference between density and weight? Uh, density is mass per volume. Weight is mass in a gravitational field. So in space or sufficiently away from a gravitational field, you don't have weight. That's why we say weightless, but you will still have the exact same density. Your mass never changes. Your density can change if your volume changes. But when we say something is denser than the other and that's, and that's good, that means of two bullets of the same volume, uranium would have more mass in the same volume. That's what makes it denser. Hey lady, you back to slice up my face again? Cool. Hey. Hey. Oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Yes, Christ. Just give me a second. Oh man, just, <laughs> I wasn't ex expecting. I just, okay, here, let me just, all right, let me just boot this bad boy up and let's just see if we. Okay, it's. I'm at, sorry, I'm at, uh, yeah, I'm at 0.1 microsieverts per hour. What are you at? I mean, well, I mean, plus or minus 100%, so I guess, you know, not too accurate. It needs to, needs to calibrate to the surroundings for, you know, I'm just going to set this down and you can stop screaming at me, okay? Uh, Mine here. is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. About goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. 
Hey, give me a stick. Tell me what's Jeez. going on. I signed on for some light recon, but that little slocum's Joe of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches. Rooting this, shooting this radiation guy down on this side of the Rio Grande. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Digging. This is one of the cool. The Corvega plant is one of the coolest looking POIs in this game. Just looks cool, doesn't it? Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? If an object is traveling at the speed of light that has additional engines not yet tur turned on, will it go beyond the speed of light when those engines are turned on to give it a bit more of a push, says Games Lord? No. You can't go beyond the speed of light. Anything with mass cannot travel at or beyond the speed of light, and that's because it would require an infinite amount of energy, which doesn't happen. Um, if you so, this is the this is basically the question: What happens if you you have a car going at near light speed and you turn the headlights on? Right. What you would see. Uh, you would, you would, you would, you would, n you would never surpass light speed, even if you turned on that additional engine. Relatively speaking, someone would see you going at light speed, but you would, f you would still perceive yourself as not getting there. There's a well, not at light speed, rather. The 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 relative observers thing would mean that from um, different points of view, you still never achieve light speed. Even if you have your headlights turned on in a car that's going near the speed of light. He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. That's yeah, a bad that's explanation. I think there's um there's a Vsauce video on it. I'm I'm explaining it poorly, but there's a re there's a relativistic shift that happens um with light and with time um when you're going that fast and it 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 accounts for this. You know. You try to get faster than the speed of light, but everything just actually um, gets shifted down. Have you watched Event Horizon? Yeah, it fudged me up as a kid. Saw it way too no. young. If we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So the engines so would be simply ob some. So the engines would be simply obliterated. No, Games Lord, I'm I'm, I'm saying. First of all, engines that could push you past light speed don't exist and can exist. What, I, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that even if theoretically you had engines that you hadn't turned on and then you try to turn them on and go light speed, you would, you, you would, that would happen, but you wouldn't go light speed. Relatively was somewhat disproven, actually, says Fluth Mother. That, that is, that is incredibly incorrect. No. Relativity is one of the most supported theories in all of science. It literally changed our perception of the universe. I mean, it was confirmed by light bending around the dang moon. It's confirmed by everything. Relativity is one of the most successful um, theories that we have. Chat, let's finish this, the finish this tunnel. stream out. The tunnel has got to be easier. Easier, but no cakewalk. You should sell horse shampoo with a mane like that, says France. Next I year, I am it. looking into getting a uh, hair care company started. The frames of reference thing drives me crazy. Seems half magic how different people at different great speeds actually experience wholly different things. We live in a weird reality, says Shock Tay with the 10. Well, maybe, maybe since everyone's talking about this, maybe we close in on this a little bit more. Um, it's maintain, baby. So nothing can be truly simultaneous for everyone because everyone is traveling in, in at different speeds in different locations. Um, you can never agree on what now is because it takes time. It, it takes time for information to get anywhere else. Speed of light is the fastest these things go, right? 
So because the speed of light is constant in a vacuum, there is a set amount of time that two um, events could be causally linked, right? If I'm one foot away from you, it's going to take a nanosecond at least for the light to reach you, for the information to reach you, for you to say now. That's when now is. Um, so no observers ever agree on when now is. It's called the relati uh, relativity of simultaneity. Um, and when you extend that concept outwards and you give and you do thought experiments, but like, OK, well, what about an alien in Andromeda that's traveling, you know, many kilometers per second in a different direction. Well, then you get situations where your disagreement on when is now is not trivial. It's not a nanosecond. It could be days or weeks or years. So then you extend this concept out to a view of the universe, like this bread loaf universe where the past, present, and future all exist equally. Because from a certain perspective, at a certain speed in a certain location, an alien could be observing your past or your future. So can't, so wouldn't those also exist, right? Anyway, that's too much. I'm not a physics expert. I have a remedial understanding of relativity. That's my best shot at that. <laughs> Look, I'm not minute physics, all right? Chat. So much science we got up to. It's crazy. Oh, she did. She got me, see? My cat cut my face. That's fun. Chat, did, did we enjoy today's stream? I enjoy, I enjoy doing it. That is what? 48 science times. So you know what that brings us to, chat? That is 91 science times in two streams. Chat, if you liked the stream, if you want us to continue on this incredible scientific journey, play the full gosh darn game. If you learned anything, spam your favorite emoji. All my members, I want you to spam your favorite facility emoji. If you learned anything, um, so many science times. Again, take everything I said with a grain of salt. Get out of here. I'm not gonna earn any booby money. Take everything I said with a grain of salt. I just want to pique your interests. Encourage you to learn more about some of these things. It's hard to be accurate and entertaining and playing a video game at the exact same time. So I may have said something wrong here or there. If I did, go into the comments below and let me know. I'm always willing to hear your feedback and to learn along with you. Chat, coming up at the facility, we just had an episode about a nuclear conspiracy theory, which is bonkers. Go watch it. Um, Last video, last main video of the year is going to be a follow-up to the scam, the science scammers video, where we're actually, spoiler alert, in the process of taking down some of these people. That's going to be a banger. I think you're going to really like it. It's going to be kind of drama-y, but not really. I mean, it's just they're stealing content and we're going to take them down. Or a company that I'm uh, in contact with is going to take them down. Um, but we will have... What I want to do, um, I'll be gone a little bit for Crimby, but in the next uh, two weeks or so, maybe we do a little bit more Fallout streaming, give you a place to hang out, give you a place to learn, give you a place to ask questions. Join me here at the facility as all the members here with their badges in the chat have already done. Of course, uh, if you want to continue on this conversation with me, if you want to talk If you want to talk with me every day in our private Discord, if you want everything that the facility has to offer, that's patreon.com slash Kyle Hill. Join the private Discord, vote on titles and thumbnails. 
Give me episode ideas, create your own interactions with Aria, make thumbnails for these streams. You can do it all. Thanks for being here. I rely on you to build up this little experimental channel that we're doing and to keep the facility alive with the required human tissue. Chat, uh, it's getting close to holidays if you're in the United States or anywhere else that has these holidays. Does everyone have Christmas? I guess so. <laughs> What is, this is a stupid thing to say. Uh, I'm tired. So, chat, uh, it's getting close to the holidays. Be safe if you're traveling. Tell your mom I said hi. Um, we'll probably stream one or two or three more times in the next uh, couple weeks. But wherever I see you next time, if it's the next live stream, next main channel video, it's a comment section on a short back in the facility discord. I hope until then you have a wonderful rest of the time that you are conscious. And remember, be nice to each other, because this is all we got. I'll see you next time for more Fallout, more Scientist Plays, and more me.